well. Jehovah, Michael, is man found on the earth? Man is not found on the earth, Elohim. Jehovah, Michael, then let us go down and form man in our own likeness and in our own image, male and female, and put into them their spirits, and let us give them dominion over all things on the face of the earth. We will plant for them a garden eastward in Eden, and place them in it to tend and cultivate it, that they may be happy and have joy therein. We will command them to multiply and replenish the earth, that they may have joy in their posterity. We will place before them the tree of knowledge of good and evil, and we will allow Lucifer, our common enemy whom we have thrust out, to tempt them and to try them that they may know by their own experience the good from the evil. If they yield to temptation, we will give unto them the law of sacrifice, and we will provide a savior for them as we counseled in the beginning, that they may be brought forth by the power of the redemption and the resurrection, and come again into our presence, and with us partake of eternal life and exaltation. We will call this the sixth day, and we will rest from our labors for a season. Come, let us go down. We will go down, Elohim. Jehovah, see the earth that we have formed. There is no man to till and take care of it. We are here to form man in our own likeness and in our own image. We will do so, Elohim. put into him his spirit, the breath of life, that he may become a living soul. Jehovah, is it good for man to be alone? It is not good for man to be alone, Elohim. We will cause a deep sleep to come upon this man whom we have formed, and we will take from his side a rib from which we will form a woman to be a companion and helpmate for him. Brethren and sisters, this is Michael who helped form the earth. When he awakens from the sleep which Elohim and Jehovah have caused to come upon him, he will be known as Adam, and having forgotten all, will have become like a little child. Brethren, close your eyes as if you were asleep. Adam, awake and arise. All the brethren will please arise. Adam, here is a woman whom we have formed, and whom we give unto you to be a companion and help me for you. What will you call her? Eve. Why will you call her Eve? Because she is the mother of all living. That is right, Adam. Because she is the mother of all living. We have organized for you this earth and have planted a garden eastward in Eden. We will place you in the garden, and will there command you to multiply and replenish the earth, that you may have joy and rejoicing in your posterity. Jehovah, introduce Adam and Eve into the garden which we have prepared for them. It shall be done, Elohim. We now go with Adam and Eve into the garden. The brethren will please be seated. Adam, Eve, we have created this earth and have placed upon it all kinds of vegetation and animal life. We have commanded all these to multiply in their own sphere and element. We give you dominion over all these things and make you, Adam, Lord over the whole earth and all things on the face thereof. We now command you to multiply and replenish the earth, that you may have joy and rejoicing in your posterity. We have also planted for you this garden, wherein we have placed all manner of fruits, 
flowers and vegetation. Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat, but of the tree of knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat. Nevertheless, thou mayest choose for thyself, for it is given unto thee. But remember that I forbid it, for in the day thou eatest thereof thou shalt surely die. Remember these commandments which we have given unto you. Now go to, dress this garden, take good care of it, be happy, and have joy therein. We shall go away, but we shall visit you again and give you further instructions. here. A new world? Yes, a new world. Patterned after the old one where we used to live. I know nothing about any other world. Oh, I see. Your eyes are not yet open. You have forgotten everything. You must eat some of the fruit of that tree. Adam, here is some of the fruit of this tree. It will make you wise. I will not partake of that fruit. Father told me that in the day I should partake of it, I should surely die. You shall not surely die, but shall be as the gods, knowing good and evil. I will not partake of it. Oh, you will not. Well, we shall see. some of the fruit of that tree. It will make you wise. It is delicious to the taste and very desirable. Who are you? I am your brother. You, my brother? And come here to persuade me to disobey father? I have said nothing about father. I want you to eat of the fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, that your eyes may be opened. For that is the way father gained his knowledge. You must eat of this fruit so as to comprehend that everything has its opposite. Good and evil. Virtue and vice. Light and darkness. Health and sickness. Pleasure and pain. Thus your eyes will be opened. And you will have knowledge. Is there no other way? There is no other way. Then I will partake. some of the fruit of that tree. It is delicious to the taste and very desirable. Eve, do you know what fruit that is? Yes. It is the fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. I cannot partake of it. Do you not know that Father commanded us not to partake of the fruit of that tree? Do you intend to obey all of Father's commandments? Yes, all of them. Do you not remember that Father commanded us to multiply and replenish the earth? I have partaken of this fruit and by so doing shall be cast out, and you will be left a lone man in the Garden of Eden. Eve, I see that this must be. I will partake that man may be. 
that is right. It is better for us to pass through sorrow that we may know the good from the evil. I know thee now. Thou art Lucifer, he who is cast out of Father's presence for rebellion. Yes, you are beginning to see already. What is that apron you have on? It is an emblem of my power and priesthoods. I am looking for Father to come down to give us further instructions. Oh. You are looking for Father to come down, are you? Jehovah, we promised Adam and Eve that we would visit them and give them further instructions. Come, let us go down. We will go down, Elohim. I hear their voices. They are coming. See, you are naked. Take some fig leaves and make you aprons. Father will see your nakedness. Quick, hide. Come, let us hide. Sisters, put on your aprons. Adam. Adam. Adam, where art thou? I heard thy voice and hid myself because I was naked. Who told thee that thou wast naked? Hast thou partaken of the fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil of which we commanded thee not to partake? The woman thou gavest me and commanded that she should remain with me, she gave me of the fruit of the tree and I did eat. Eve, what is this thou hast done? The serpent beguiled me and I did eat. Lucifer, what hast thou been doing here? I have been doing that which has been done in other worlds. What is that? I have been giving some of the fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil to them. Lucifer, because thou hast done this, thou shalt be cursed above all the beasts of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust thou shalt eat all the days of thy life. If thou cursest me for doing the same thing which has been done in other worlds, I will take the spirits that follow me, and they shall possess the bodies thou createst for Adam and Eve. I will place enmity between thee and the seed of the woman. Thou mayest have power to bruise his heel, but he shall have power to crush thy head. Then with that enmity, I will take the treasures of the earth, and with gold and silver I will buy up armies and navies, false priests who oppress, and tyrants who destroy, and reign with blood and horror on this earth. Depart. Jehovah, let cherubim and a flaming sword be placed to guard the way of the tree of life, lest Adam and Eve put forth their hands and partake of the fruit thereof and live forever in their sins. It shall be done, Elohim. Let cherubim and a flaming sword be placed to guard the way of the tree of life, lest Adam and Eve put forth their hands and partake of the fruit thereof, and live forever in their sins. It is done, Elohim. Adam, because thou hast partaken of the forbidden fruit, the earth shall be cursed for thy sake. Instead of producing fruits and flowers spontaneously, it shall bring forth thorns, thistles, briars, and noxious weeds to afflict and torment man. And by the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat thy bread all the days of thy life. For dust thou art, and unto dust shalt thou return. Inasmuch as Eve was the first to eat of the forbidden fruit, if she will covenant that from this time forth she will obey the law of the Lord, and will hearken unto your counsel as you hearken unto mine, and if you will covenant that from this time forth you will obey the law of Elohim, we will give unto you the law of obedience and sacrifice, and we will provide a savior for you, whereby you may come back into our presence and with us partake of eternal life and exaltation. Adam, I now covenant to obey the law of the Lord and to hearken to your counsel as you hearken unto Father. Elohim, I now covenant with thee that from this time forth I will obey thy law and keep thy commandments. It is well. Jehovah, inasmuch as Adam and Eve have discovered their nakedness, make coats of skins as a 